It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking percent of whole. And by percent, we're talking part. Here's our question today. At a middle school, the 6th grade students and 7th grade students collected cans for recycling. Of the 2,000 cans the 6th grade students collected, 65% were soda cans. Of the 1,500 cans the 7th grade students collected, 80% were soda cans. We're asked to complete the statements about the numbers of soda cans the students collected. We're going to drag and drop a number into each box. Each number may be used once, more than once, or not at all. So you have five numerical values that you're picking from here to complete these two statements. The sixth grade students collected blank soda cans, and the seventh grade students collected blank soda cans. Remembering that they said that each of these numbers may be used once, or not at all, or maybe it's the same amount for both. Here, I'd like you to pause the video, find out how many sixth grade soda cans were collected and how many seventh grade soda cans were collected, then come back and hit play to see my work. Good luck. Welcome back. So again, we're focused on these two bulleted items. We're going to focus on the first one. 2,000 cans the sixth grade students collected, or 65% of them were soda cans. So let's rewrite that. We have 2,000 cans, 65% of them were soda cans. 65% of 2,000 were soda cans. So we want to find the 65% of 2,000 to know the number of soda cans of the 2,000. We're going to divide this into an easier problem to work with. 65% we're going to consider as 50% plus 15%. And we're focused on 50% of 2,000. So we're looking at 2,000 and 50% would be half of that. So when we go ahead and figure that out, half of 2,000 is 1,000. Now we just need to add on the 15%. Well, let's break this down an even simpler problem. 15% is 10% plus 5%. 10% of 2,000, you just move the decimal point one space to the left. So that would be 200. So we're going to add 200 to the 1,000. And then 5% is half of 10%. So half of 20, 200, is 100. So 1,000 plus 200 plus 100 is 1,300. So now I know that the 6th grade students collected 1,300 soda cans. So of the 2,000 cans collected, 65% were soda cans, and 65% is 1,300. Let's move on and put this back into our main question, and we have one more part to do. We now want to understand how many of the collected cans for the 7th graders were soda cans. So let's go to a screen, and we have 1,500 cans, and 80% of them were soda cans. So we're finding 80% of the 1,500, the total amount of cans. Same thing, we're going to break 80% into simpler parts. 50% plus 30%. So again, we're finding 50% of 1,500 and then 30% of 1,500 for 80%. So half of 1,500 is 750. Now let's break 30% into an easier amount. That's 10% times 3 three ten percents. Well, ten percent is easy because we just move the decimal point one space to the left. So ten percent of fifteen hundred is one hundred and fifty. And we're going to add that three times. Add one hundred and fifty once, twice, and a third time. Now we just need to add these all up for a total of eighty percent. Seven fifty plus one fifty is nine hundred. Nine hundred plus one fifty is one thousand fifty and 1,050 plus 150 is going to give me 1,200 soda cans. So again, they collected 1,200 soda cans. Of the 1,500 cans collected, 1,200 were soda cans, which is 80%. And there you have it. Let's put this all together. Here's our final answer. The 6th grade students collected 1,300 soda cans, and the 7th grade students collected 1,200 soda cans. And that is how you find percent of whole or part of a whole. Magic of math, where we continue to master math one video at a time.
Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you come back soon.